Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to review this five color gouache set that's made by M. Graham. This is one of two gouache sets that I bought recently. The other one is the Winston Newton Designers Gouache. This set has five colors and it's actually more expensive compared to the Winston Newton's uh, set. So let's see if this is worth the money. So M. Graham, they are known for using honey for their paint. Honey absorbs moisture from the air to prevent the paint from hardening. So in this set, we have three primary colors, one white and one black. Let's see what info we have on the tubes. All the three primary colors, they have this spectrum label in brackets. I'm not sure what that means. This is from series two. The capacity is 15 ml. On the back here, we have the light fast rating, the pigment that's used, and the vehicle. In this case, it's gum arabic. That's the binder. Let me squeeze out some paint first. Let's swatch the colors. I'm going to start with azo yellow first. This is PY151. Let's see how opaque this is. I've added a little bit of water to make the paint flow a bit more easily. This paper that I'm using, this is hot press paper. Next we have naphthol red. So this is opaque but not 100% opaque. And lastly, Cobalt Blue PB28. And now let's mix some secondary colors. Let's have orange. This looks good. Next, let's have green. This looks nice. And finally, let's have purple. So the purple, it's not the vibrant purple. This is the very dark purple or violet. The colors, they look very vibrant. I like the orange and the green. So the limitation for this particular set is uh, it's very difficult to get bright, vibrant purples. Okay, so let's paint something with these colors. All right, let's paint something really simple. Let's just paint some presents, some boxes. I notice as soon as I add a little bit of white, the color immediately becomes uh, very pale. Let's have green here. I'm still trying to get a hang of how much water I should add to make the paint more fluid so that's easier to paint but I don't want to add so much water that it becomes transparent so here I have to use a lot more paint because I want to cover the tree And I noticed I used a lot of paint for the tree, so when I painted over the tree, I reactivated some of the green. The honey does help at preventing the paint from hardening. So this yellow, it's not that opaque, I need to go over it another time. This is titanium white with a little bit of water added. Here's the completed quick sketch. So the colors, they are quite vibrant. One thing I notice is when you add a tiny bit of white, 
the color immediately becomes uh, a bit washed out so this is orange with some white added i guess there is a tiny bit of blue in it as well that's why this color appears to be a bit washed out titanium white it's very opaque here we have yellow over blue this blue is cobalt blue with a little bit of red added so this blue it's much darker compared to this blue which is straight out from the tube so here I had some problems mixing a vibrant orange this yellow has some impurities inside so um, it's a bit dirty compared to this yellow here which is straight out from the tube here's another quick sketch that I have painted these are two soft toys that belong to my daughter Tiffany who is now two years old she just celebrated her birthday about 10 days ago notice there's this transition of color from this color to this color which is more yellow that's because I ran out of paint so I mixed more colors here which doesn't look like the initial color and I ran out of paint here again so here I use more yellow that's why there's this transition this white here this is titanium white I painted the background first and then I painted the yellow and the red and there wasn't enough contrast so I went in to paint this again to block the red and also to create a sharp edge So the white definitely very opaque here you can see the yellow it's a bit dirty that's because i use a lot of red so when i painted the yellow which has some water it reactivated the red and it becomes a bit dirty here the style here is very different from my usual style where i draw with lines first and then paint over with watercolor so here's an example this is pencil with watercolor and notice the colors here they are also more vibrant so watercolor it's more vibrant compared to gouache because the light can reflect off the paper and through the paint through the transparent paint but for gouache it's opaque so you're actually looking at the paint so the quality of M. Graham paint it's very good the colors are vibrant and the paint very easy to mix with I really like the fact that they have honey in the paint to prevent the paint from hardening which makes it easier to paint with even though these are more expensive compared to Winsor and Newton they are still quite worth the money considering the quality now I've not used M. Graham and Winsor Newton long enough to be able to conclusively say which one is better uh, both are good for me all right if you happen to be using M. Graham gouache, let me know in the comment section below what you think about them. I would love to uh, hear from you. Thanks for watching today's video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.